Hi, I'm Jean Owen, and welcome to the Great Southwest. We're back inside. We've been averaging around 109 in Tucson, Arizona, so I'm doing things inside now. I just received my very first Diamond Art Club diamond painting. I've never gotten one of these before. I've always uh, stayed close to either Diamond Dots or some off-brand I get on the on Amazon or something like that. But watching other uh, vloggers, uh, I really wanted to try it out. And the one thing I was talking to Janae um, just in chat about how every time I saw an image from Diamond Art Club that I thought was really cool and I'd like to do it, I'd go on to order it and it would be sold out. So it was crazy. So um, I got on their mailing list and as soon as this one released, I didn't even think about it. I don't even know how big it is or anything. I just went in and I purchased it. And it was about it was about 50 bucks. And I thought, well, at least I'm gonna try it and see if I like this, this brand. And uh, a, a couple hours later, I went back on and it was sold out. So um, I'm glad I jumped on it. So let's open it up and see what we find. I'm concerned, it's really big. It, it, it's bigger, it's heavier than the ones I usually do from, from Diamond Dots. And oh, I just finished my pirate uh, one I've been working on for a while, my life got crazy, so I uh, hadn't been working on it quite so much, but I'll show you my, my uh, pirate ship in a second. So let's go ahead and open him up, but he does feel very large. Ow. And he arrived in very good condition. And he's sealed up like crazy. I don't have any scissors. Here we go. So the one I'm doing is called Share the Outdoors. And when you go to the Diamond Art Club website, uh, wow, they have so many different genres that you can choose from. You know, animals, fairies, you know, outdoors. was hard. Okay. So I'm going to see if I can get this. Um, it's called Share the Outdoors and it's um, like a campsite. It's got trees and a river and um, tent and a canoe. I was afraid that was going to be sealed. And it's not. The canvas is a little bent. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, a bag with the tools, nice bag. It's got um, a new stylus, it's got a nice tweezer set, it's got a, a nice tray, instructions, we'll put that down. This feels pretty solid. Yeah, it's a little crimped on the end, but that will straighten out. to be working on this forever. Okay. Ooh, and it smells. Step-by-step <laughs> -step instructions. All right. There's the scene. Nice, can Ooh, fuzzy canvas, I like that. I'm glad I bought a bigger table. Very clear image. It's got 50 colors. 
Ah, my goodness. All right. So, yeah. Here are the 50 colors. Well, if I thought I was bored. I'm not bored anymore. This takes up almost my entire art table. All right. But very nice. I do like it. Very cool. I will start working on this soon. Um, but let me go show you the pirate ship that I just finished. It turned out really nice, and I'm glad I did it. And it, um, it was unique. I hadn't seen it around. Now I'm seeing it more. So maybe it's new. But, um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, yep. All right. Uh, and again, this one is called Share the Outdoors. It is 30 inches by 20 inches by Chuck Pinson at the Diamond Art Club. So, oh, there's even a bird on a tree branch and birds flying in the air. And this is going to take forever. All right, but it's really nice. It, it lays nice. I didn't have to do the double roll or anything. It actually, it's happy. So far, Diamond Art Club, way to go. Okay, here is the completed pirate ship. I like how it turned out. It shimmers really well. Yeah, so very nice. I think it'll look nice with my other collection. It's really good. I did have the issue with this kit with the colors not being very vibrant on the canvas and on the key. And I also had an issue with um, and some of the printing was fuzzy. And there were a few areas that the glue wasn't really as good as it should be. You can tell it was it was missing some, but, but overall, I mean, it worked out fine. I think this is gonna be fine and, and last well. So, happy with how it turned out. Hey, I wanted to give you guys a heads up. You know I take care of some um, feral kitties in my backyard. I've got three of them right now. I've got Doppler, Normal, and Scruffy, who come every night along with the raccoons. But, um, I have a lot of video cameras, security cameras out there that I use to keep track of them and to watch them and things. And I had an interesting video of my kitchen door the other day. And this is uh, what we think is a coyote, but my daughter thinks it looks like a baby deer. <laughs> but check out this video. It, it's unnerving because uh, he's looking for my kitties. And, but we have a secret entrance to my backyard and they're pretty smart and I think they can, you know, and they have been able to avoid them even though we have lost a, f a, c a few kitties to the coyotes. But this one shocked me because he comes right to my kitchen door. So check this out. So he is cute, I gotta say that. He's a very skinny-legged, big-eared, maybe he'll grow into his ears, coyote. Um, and as I said, the raccoons have been coming just about every night, and I had, um, I have a ninja raccoon. I don't know if it's the same one every year, but basically I think what I'm gonna show you here is a mommy raccoon, and mommy is gonna work hard to get the food she needs. I have a table that is raccoon-proof, but not mama raccoon-proof. And so this is the first time she has ever been able to uh, reach my raccoon proof table. Check this out.
Did you find yourself cheering her on? I kind of did too, and I'm debating whether or not I need to uh, strengthen the barriers of her. I can put flashing up around the outer edges, the, the silver that you'd see on the sides of um, trailers and things. But anyway, it could keep her from being able to reach from the post up around onto the platform and pulling herself up. But it's not that big a deal yet. My kitties haven't gone without food, um, but they make a mess every night. But anyway, and they cats always get fresh water then. So anyway, so that was my uh, my ninja attack. She's done it twice, so it's not it's not too bad yet. So anyway, thank you for joining me today. This has been Jean Ellen in the Great Southwest. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I am actually excited to uh, start on my new diamond painting from the Diamond Art Club. Uh, I'll keep you posted on that one. It's gonna take me a long time. But, and I'm, I'm happy with how the pirate ship turned out and just sharing what's going on around here. And it is, it's really hot today here in Tucson. So I hope you guys are cool where you're at. Have a good rest of your day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And that way you'll be in the loop for new content when I post it. So thanks again for joining me. Have a wonderful day.